We're working? Hey, everybody. All right. Where's Mary? Mary is in Florida, so I need a sound check. I need Mary to request the screen share. We need all kinds of things here. How's everybody doing? Two people. Can you guys hear me okay? My Wi-Fi was acting stupid. It's expensive, and we just got the whole thing fixed, and it's still acting stupid. <clears throat> Dennis, what's up? <laughs> Nine people. All right, everybody, how we doing? John, how are you? Working on the screen share. <laughs> Leslie Norton wants to join you on the video. <laughs> Paul, what's up, dude? How's everybody doing? Two Pauls. All right. Good to see you guys. Come on, Mary, figure it out. Kansas City, sound is good. Sarah, thank you. Larry, how are you? All right, everybody. Let's give uh, sound is good, Master Spas. I'm assuming that's Kayla. Kayla, I think Mary can request the screen share herself. We've done that before. Um, someone else did request that. Hi, Sharon. I requested. Where is it, Mayor? Oh, approve. Guest requests. It didn't come up. Think that worked? Adding? Connection failed. <laughs> Mary, I tried. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Illinois. Awesome. Mary, how are you? All right. All right. Let me try again, Mayor. Approve. It says send invite. You have to accept. Adding. It says adding up top, Mary. Sherry, our pleasure. Poconos. Been there. All right. Chris, how are you, man? What's going on? Mel. All right. Mary, just so you know, up top, it's it's flashing adding like this up top. Last time we didn't have any trouble. I don't think it's my connection. I'm wondering if it's yours. Tennessee. All right. Hey, Beth. I'll be home in a little while. Hmm. Awesome. 34, 35, Tom, Michigan, Heidi. All right. Windsor, Ontario. Been there. Sam. All right. Let me see. Allow. Mayor, you stop because I think it won't let me. It won't let won't, won't let me send you an invite while you're trying to connect, and then and like another minute of this, and and we're gonna not try anymore. So let's put that off. Mary, cancel anything that you requested or did anything. Okay, we're gonna take one more clean crack at this. KK, all right. Send. I just sent the invite, Mary. Wait for it to ask. It says connection failed. All right, this thing is sort of sucking today. Let's do it again. Approve. Send an invite. Adding. Mary, are you on Wi-Fi or cell data? 43 people watching us try to connect. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Just give us, due to technical difficulties, we'll just need a moment. Mary, I went off, off Wi-Fi. Yeah, let's do that. Connection failed. One more time, Mayor. Why won't, I don't, what am I missing? No. 
nothing. That's the share screen right there. All right, Mary, we're moving on. Okay, everybody. So Mary, you can you can chime in on the comments. We'll do that. We'll do it that way. All right. So today we're talking about springtime. We're talking about drain and refill. We're talking about getting ready for the you know finally new warm season. Although I can't say this winter has been terrible up here. Although it did snow like crazy yesterday uh, where we live. Uh, although Mary is in Florida, Boca right now, uh, which is nice and here the weather is crappy all right so we've got questions sent in and then we're going to talk about draining and you guys just fire away the questions and uh and mayor what i want you to do is is help with the questions because their kind of comments are coming up fast on here as you know so you can help in the background and we'll do it that way and just i have no idea why that didn't work the same way as last time um i don't understand and i think you're in the same place too it's raining here that's why Blame the rain. Okay, it's not even raining here. Katie, Texas, very cool. Okay, so one thing I wanna talk about, how I drain it. So there's a couple different ways. The hot tubs, most of the hot tubs have a drain. You gotta take the cabinet off and put it in there. I'm never doing that. So we have a hot tub. Well, you can see some hot tubs in the background. The one that we always wet is over there is a 7-2. We, so we always have a 7 it's dry now because we've been gone so much, we just haven't got a chance to, to refill. So we're going to, but we've had, it, we've had it wet for a while. And when we drain and refill that, you know, I don't, I don't use a pump. I definitely don't take the cabinet off. I just do a siphon, like an old school siphon. And I've got the ultimate siphon trick. So I always joke with people that when, you know, if they know how to do a siphon, like they were stealing gasoline, that they're a bad person. Or at some point in their life, they were a bad person. And there, there might be a little bit of truth in there, um, although I have to admit, I also know how to do it. So who knows? But, <clears throat> so the best way to do this, if you just take a hose, okay? So before you turn anything off, your spa is still running, and, and you can do this for swim spas, you can do this for any hot tubs. Um, I do my swim spa that way, I do the one here this way, I do the one at home that way, I do the 7-2 here all with a siphon. I don't do any pumps. I don't do any of that. And I'm typically not in a hurry. So, you know, it's not exactly fast, although you can use multiple hoses if you are in a hurry. So <clears throat> all you do is turn the jets on and take the hose under the water and then put it on the jet and watch it until the water comes out. When you see water coming out of the other end of that hose, then drop the hose into the bottom and you're fine. And then you just go to the breaker and shut it off and leave it on the bottom. Just make sure it's in the bottom of the footwell. Otherwise, it won't drain all the way out. And you can walk away. You're done. So that's how I do it. And, and it's just, you know, I don't know about you guys. If, you, if you're in a hurry and you're pressed for time, well, then a pump is the way to go. You know, because a pump is going to pump it out, especially like a big pump is going gonna, is gonna to pump it out a swim spot really fast. You know, they make the inch and a half uh, hose pumps that, that our dealers use to drain the swim spas at events and in their showrooms, and they're very fast. Um, so you can do that. I don't do that. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you. So that is the best way to do it. And the thing is, is that you have to do that a couple times a year. And it's just, you know, it also a little bit subjective because it depends on use. If you're having huge parties in there and, you know, if you have a precision eight that holds, you know, eight, seven, eight people, that's a lot of meat in that soup, and you're doing that every weekend, you're going to need to do it more than twice a year, you know, uh, for sure. So <clears throat> just get ready for that. And you know what, if you're having that much fun, then that's the price to pay. And it's totally, totally worth it. And the swim spas, same thing. If you're having a party in there all the time, well, you're going to need to do it more than once a year. Okay. So I, I know for, for me, at, at here at the, the warehouse, we wet these and we have other people in there, strangers in there uh, from time to time. So we drain those probably more often than I would at home um, just because we can. And then at home, I'm definitely once a year on that swim spa uh, for sure. And uh, actually, it's coming up on time uh, for me to do that one as well. So then, you know, then you got the startup. So you, do you put the hose in the filter? And so I've got a, a pickle here and you guys will appreciate this. The swim spot in my house, 
I have a well and my water is not super. So I don't put that in the swim spot. I have a pool water truck come. Okay. And they, they fill with a four inch hose and they turn a pump on and it fills that swim spot. I mean like two minutes, literally two minutes. It's amazing. And the water's perfect. So that's not going to go inside that filter housing in that small pipe inside there. It's not going to fit. So I can never do that. And, and so far at home, I have not had an airlock. Okay. And, you know, we're going on, you know, two fills. I think we changed the water twice. Um, never had an airlock. And then most of the time, if I'm being honest, here at the warehouse, I forget to do that and don't even care. And airlock's not really that big of a deal, even if it happens. And it's still, you know, once in a while you have to hit the pumps and, and kind of burp it like a baby and the air comes out and then it runs. Okay. So let's see. Will the chlorine in the lawn or the, will the chlorine in the water damage my lawn if I drain into the yard? No, it does not. Okay, it has never bothered mine for sure. Um, it's absolutely perfect. I can tell you this, and this is what I tell people all the time. If you have a dog, the dog is far worse for your lawn than anything you take out of your, your hot tub or swim spot, even if the water is bad. Okay, so dogs are the worst. Hot tub, swim spot, never going to bother anything. Another siphon trick, put an entire hose in the swim spot and wait for it to fill with water, cover when it, ooh, I never even thought of that. Sarah, awesome, I love it. Absolutely. It's a good idea. Yeah, that would work too, wouldn't it? That's pretty cool. So I guess at home I have like a hundred foot, yeah, it's a hundred foot hose. I don't know if I really want to drop a hundred foot hose in the swim spot. I'm going to stick with my, you know, leaving the dirty hose out of the water and swim spot and in the lawn, but I love it. Okay. Sue, Arizona. Uh, Sue in Arizona for now, but Missouri soon. Are you moving to Missouri or do you have two houses? Interesting. I like Arizona. Or is it Arizona for the winter? Dual, like a snowbird. Very cool. Okay. So questions, you've got them. Fire them away, guys. We're here. Lock them in. You know, the draining and refill, there's always, it, the first time people are always kind of freaking out about it. It's so easy. Don't overthink it. And actually, that's sort of the theme of what we've got going here today is the don't overthink it part. The questions that came in are things that I have never bothered to be concerned with. And you guys are looking at this like, oh, like with through a microscope, super hardcore. Let's all calm down a little bit. It's not, it's not rocket science here. You know, there's a lot of, lot of margin for error and nothing is really all that specific. It's not... Uh, Definitely better with a shorter hose, I bet. I'm not cutting my hose and, and I don't have, I used to have, I, I feel like I used to have one for a pump, something that I used to have, but I don't think I have it anymore. Okay, so Sherry said, okay, so we have our spot at the lake. The water will eventually get into the lake water. Thoughts, am I, am I a bit concerned? Um, I, I don't think I would be concerned with that at all. Uh, there's far worse things going into that lake water than the water out of your spa. So I know that certain triathlon races that take place in lakes sometimes can't race because of the yucky stuff they find when they test that water. So they actually cancel that part. So I would think that the hot tub water would be very minor compared to that. Okay, let's see. Can you just say quickly how to drain the spa most easily? Yep, Roger. So I would, I siphon. You can use a pump or siphon it shut the breaker off, pump the water out, refill it. That's it. It's not, you don't have to do, just make the, the big thing is you need to make sure you shut the breaker off. You don't want to drain it, obviously, and have that heater trying to run with no water in it. Simple as that. Leslie, flushing the jets. That's actually one of the questions today. All right, how do you make sure the internals are clean before refilling, John? So a lot of, a lot of these questions, we get those kind of questions, and they're basically asking if we like those cleansing products to, to, get the stuff out of there. Um, I'm sure one or two of these questions is that is what's behind it. I've never once used that. The first were like 18 years on hot tubs and swim spas now. I've never once done it ever. Um, I'm never going to, obviously, if I've made it 18 without doing it and everything is perfect, I just don't see the need. So our official position is it's really not necessary, okay? And, I, and then lastly, um, well, I'll skip ahead to one of the questions. I, I make notes on the back of envelopes. Mary's much neater than I am. That's how I do it. All right. So 
how can I flush the chemicals in the pipes before filling and using Lois in New Jersey? So if you really are just absolutely insisting upon doing, getting that last, you know, couple of gallons of water out of there, then you're going to have to either blow them out uh, with a, either like a vacuum or, or compressed air if you want to and take the unions off if you really wanted to. Um, or you could maybe fill it halfway back up and, and cycle it through, you know, get it, let it fill and then drain it again if you really wanted to get it out of there. I can tell you this, I've never even once considered doing that. Even, you know, back in the way back when I, before I was even involved with this industry, you know, we had a hot tub and I never once, and there were times where that water, I mean, guys, there's a learning curve here and I never harass anyone for the learning curve. I did it. I had skunked water and it was terrible, drained it. I didn't do any of that stuff. Just drain the tub, put a new three, 400 gallons in there. The amount of chemicals and residuals that are in that little bit of leftover water are so small that you don't need to worry about it. You're definitely overthinking that and giving yourself a headache over nothing. So none of us, if you go to any of our houses and anyone in, you know, who, who, who works for master, any of the dealers, the salespeople, We've all got tubs and swim spas. Nobody does that, all right? Definitely not anyone does that, all right? So I wouldn't worry about that too, too bad. All right, how do you make sure the internals are clean? We have a shortcut of those. Yeah, that'll work. You know, I, I just, I use my 100 footer. I know it's stupid. Should I clean? You guys are asking all the same questions that I got sent in today. This is, you're, you're cutting me off at the ankles. All right, should I clean the empty tub with any product before filling? You know what, Mary, I was gonna put your, your glass plus vinegar glass plus up here and I forgot because I was like scrambling to get all, the, all this stuff done. So, so Anthony, the, the, the old school method of choice was a vinegar and water mixture if you wanted to do it. I typically don't do it, but from time to time we need to spruce up a tub that has been maybe shown as a demo and it was wet for a couple of years and then we need to clean it and make it look like new. So we will use a product, it's Glass Plus, it's Vinegar Glass Plus. It's awesome. Oh my God, it's so fantastic. Um, we were just looking, I think we were just looking for spray bottles and then saw that product and tried it. Unreal, unreal. It is Mary's go-to absolute favorite. And it's not so vinegary that it like stinks and bothers you. It's perfect. Even if you get it on your hands, no problem. It's absolutely wonderful. So that's what we clean. And then we did a, um, we were filming commercials once and Susan came and Mary told her about that and she got some and cleaned up. You know, we went to a customer's house and used their, their setup as a demo for the, in the backdrop for the commercial. This thing cleaned up and she was like blown away. It works awesome. So that's what I would use uh, is that, that vinegar glass plus product. We buy it at Home Depot. Uh, I'm sure you can buy it multiple places in Amazon or wherever you need to, but that's where we buy it. And it is fantastic. Okay. Ant? All right. All right. I'm sure Mary's going to chime in here with, uh, with her love of the glass plus vinegar at any time now. All right. Mike, what's up, dude? Kenny, how are you? All right. What do you clean the shell with once it's empty? Vinegar water or that glass plus product. Okay. Share. All right. A Windex glass plus. Is that the same? Windex vinegar? I meant to actually have it here. Kenny, just curious, does yours have Master Pure? Uh, let's see. I couldn't remember. Yes. Actually, this one does, and mine at home does. comments on filters first time with a tub as an as an adult and not sure about when to leave tub on or off when re removing oh mary you're not here oh it worked on or off if removing filters i'd assume best time is when draining trying to figure out the best flow for this thanks steph okay so the filter cleaning you're definitely going to do more often than you're changing the water so that won't work as far as timing the two together i mean you can always do the filters when you're you're draining and refilling but that's not very often so you'll want to clean those filters a little more than that um, <clears throat> i would shut it off and, and if you have 
So you may not have a circ pump and you may have a circ pump, but in your, in most of the panels, like on the twilights, you can put, I think it's hold, hold or something like that. It holds it for an hour. The swim spas have that where it, it basically just sits there and dormant and you can take the filters out. If you have pump one is, let's say it was on and pump one was running a filter cycle or your circ pump was on and you go to take that filter out, it's actually gonna be hard to get out because there's, it, it's an enclosed system. So it's gonna have a lot of suction on there, even though it's just a small circ pump. If you put your hand near it, it's gonna give you a tug. So you know what, why, why mess with it? Shut it off, don't even worry about it. If I'm going anywhere near, anywhere near those pipes with anything, just shut it off. And I did read in the uh, owner's group <laughs> the other day, I, I was just flipping through and someone had uh, like the, the scum sponge, you know, you float around in there. I don't have one, but I, I did back in the day when I was newer, uh, that it got sucked in there when they were changing the filters. So just shut it off. Why, why fight it? Okay. All right. And we have a whole thing on filters too. All right. Let me scroll up here. Anthony, you're welcome. Tom, I am a snowbird. How to winterize the hot tub. So this is a spring opening special, but we'll talk about it. It depends. So do you have a circ pump? Do you not have a circ pump? Are you talking about leaving it running? Or are you talking about draining it all the way? Uh, there's some more, I need some more information to answer that. But basically, to properly winterize a tub, you need to get all the water out and that's gonna be opening up unions. So obviously drain it first, shut it off, drain it, open up the unions. You need to get all, every drop of water out and then you can even go, you know, and, and you'll probably wanna use antifreeze and fill those pipes up so that it, it can't freeze like you would an RV. Similar, very similar procedure to what you would do to an RV. Most dealerships, will come and do that for you, which I always advise. Because if you make a mistake and something gets frozen and, it, and it's your fault, it's not covered under warranty, okay? If you winterize, things are covered. If you winterize incorrectly, it's not covered. And they're, they're bright, I'll tell you what. Every time I have a question about what's going on, I call Kirk in, in customer service. He's the boss boss in customer service. And that dude knows, he's seen it all and he knows it all, all right? so. That's, that's the rundown. That was actually a topic once. If you winterize, does it void the warranty? It doesn't. What does is if you winterize incorrectly and then something is damaged as a result of it, then it's on you, obviously. Okay? How do you clean the cover, inside or out? So Sharon asked, how do you, this is good. We got, you know what, this was, Kim, Susan, Mary, this was a good topic because the questions are like rolling. So we're not, even, we're not even talking about anything. We're just gonna have to address these questions. Good, which is what we want, you guys. We wanna be on here, we want you to ask them, fire away. All right, how do you clean the cover? So for the outside, I like, the, it, and depending, there are two covers now. So you, if you have one that's a little older with the vinyl, I use the 303 protectant, and I believe I have it, because I don't have the, the new cover yet. With the new, it's more like a, like a sailcloth or more like a, like a tent uh, uh, cloth material. It's not that shiny vinyl. I believe 303 makes a product specifically for that to clean and protect it as well. I'm almost positive I saw that. That I will need to look up for you, okay? But I'm almost positive. I don't think you want to use the regular 303 protectant on the brand new covers that are, that are different. They don't have that sheen on there, that vinyl sheen, okay? On the inside, you want to get like a mildew. They make a a mildew stain remover, you just spray a little bit on there and scrub it off gently, then rinse it with water, or take it off the tub and, and clean it. And you can clean the inside of that cover if you get a little bit of black marks in there, okay? All right. With larger spas, there is no reason to drain every last drop. I have a trainer 18D, the amount of water, it will displace any old water issues. Totally agree, Dave. Absolutely no question about it. Um, I've never tried to get that water out of there. It's just it's a drop, it's a drop in, in the bucket at that point. So Dave, totally, totally agree. All right. There you go, Mayor. I, I can't see everything. So thank you. All right. I'm sorry that that I'm sure Mary is fully annoyed right now. I swear I didn't do it on purpose. She's like, he did it on purpose. I didn't, I didn't, I hit the, the butt. I'll show you. All right. 
<clears throat> Adam, getting ready to hop in my Therapool 13 in a few minutes. Wise choice. It just wasn't allowing me to comment as myself. Mary, that has something to do. So when you hit that, because I saw one, one, of the, one of the comments came up as master spots that I think was you, because we were already on there as master spots, that's why you couldn't connect. I guarantee there's some something with that. If you want to set it yourself as yourself instead of a master, if you can do that, we'll try again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Clean hot tub cover. Just answered that. Sherry. So I'm a first time hot tub user. Things were going fine until our adult kids had a weekend party. Oh boy. Sherry, I hope you gave him a vigorous spanking. Let's see. Mary, I got this, this, when the see more button is working today. Maybe this finger is dry. All right. So I'm going to start again, Sherry. This is, I love it because I was a bad kid. My mother will, will attest to that. So I am a first time hot tub user. Things were going fine until our adult kids had a weekend party and we were away for two weeks. I come back and it is green and cloudy. Worked on it for over a day, less green, but still cloudy suggestions. Yep. Drain it, refill it, start from scratch, never look back, never care. Uh, that's a small cost of having an awesome life. And I can tell you this, if I came back after two weeks and my adult kids had skunked the swim spa, <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's a good story. Harass them, charge them, you know, make them scrub the thing for you. But yeah, I mean, just on a hot, t on a hot tub in particular, like a swim spa would be a bigger pain in the butt. But on a hot tub, just drain it. Three, 400 gallons, go for it. I wouldn't even, because, you know, by the time you spend that much time and whatever chemicals you're trying to put in there, it's not worth it. Just refill it. All right. Oh, Master Spot. Asked, yeah, I think Mary is showing you as Master. That's what I thought. Lots of awesome questions. I am replying to most, but when I reply, it's for Master Spots. Mary, that, that's the reason you couldn't come on, because we are on here. I'm on here as Master Spots, and then Master Spots is trying to join Master Spots. That's not going to fly. I don't know why that's happening, but that's happening. And that's not me, that's you. All right. Elizabeth, do I need to put a condition? Mary, these questions, I love it. This is awesome. You guys are like hammer, 67 people hammering us with questions. This is, this is a zoo, I love it. All right, do I need to put a conditioner in it every time I put chlorine or will chlorine alone be okay? What conditioner? I don't do that. I'm, I'm gonna say chlorine alone will be okay. I'm not sure what conditioner you're talking about. When I use chlorine, I use it by itself. Okay, outside, inside. If I had the dealer winterize mine, can I restart myself in the spring? John, yeah, absolutely. So I would um, just make sure you find out if they used antifreeze in there and if they used, depending on what kind. So the kind of antifreeze that comes from the factory, actually you hit with some, some non-chlorine shock and it kills it. So just make sure you find out what they ran in there and, and what it need, might need to be flushed with a little bit. Uh, that would be a situation where you may need to flush if depending on what they used. I'm, I'm going to assume that they're going to use this, the proper stuff and you'll have no problem. Okay. Kevin Wright. What's up, man? Jarrett. What's up, dude? Oh, man. It's good to see you guys. I'm scrolling through here. Leslie, which 303 protectant? Uh, the UV protectant for the vinyl cover and the new cover, I believe there is a product. I don't know which one that is, Leslie. I will find out because I need to know that myself. All right. Sharon, thank you. You're welcome. I totally am. Mary, do you want to try this again? Because now it says Mary Cubicelli. I totally am. Let's try it. Give me one sec. Hey, Mayor, if you have it where it's coming up as you now, try to request it again. Okay, Sherry, what are your thoughts on using Spa Marvel on a regular basis? You know, I, I have a couple of thoughts on it. Um, it might work fine. I, I've never used it. I'm, I'm, I have no reason to add it to my repertoire of spa and swim spa maintenance. So I just don't feel it's necessary. Um, Master doesn't feel it's necessary. You know, I mean, Anyone who's selling chemicals, it's their job to sell chemicals. So he's, you know, they're going to sell it. 
So I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't think of any reason I want to use it and add it to my situation. So, uh, you know, do what you need to do. If it makes sense to you and you feel good about it, then do it. If you don't and don't feel it's necessary, then poo poo it like uh, everyone else who doesn't do it. All right, let's see. Michelle, do, do, do. Matt Kershaw, what's up, dude? All right. I have winterized my Challenger 15D twice with great success. Sue, take all the jets and pillows out. You take all the jets out. Wow. Okay, let me, let me get the rest of that. Clean and store them inside. Sue, very thorough. I guess if I winterize, I guess I might do that. But I'm not sure. Mary, let me try again. Merit says, unable to add guest, Mary Cuticelli is already a guest in this broadcast. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. I'm sorry. All right. Robert, how come I have so much foaming going on? All right. So most of the time, there's, there's actually two reasons the foam happens. One is it's contaminants from lotions, soaps, you know, clothes. While you weren't home, someone went in there with like a t-shirt and jeans on or you know covered in lotion <clears throat> or or if your water chemistry is messed up it can also do it too and just kind of bring out some junk and yuckiness in the water so i, I don't know exactly what's causing it you know without seeing it um but again if we're talking about a hot tub honestly just drain it and refill it you know if, it, if it's really harassing you just drain it you know what i mean just a couple hundred gallons of water it's not not the end of the world i i would just drain it swim spas yeah, a little more of a pain in the butt, especially, I mean, I have to have the water trucked in. Yep, yep. Mickey, all right. 303 Fabric Protectant for Outdoor Fabric. That's the one. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I know I saw it. I knew it. That's the one. So everyone who asked about the, the cover cleaner for the new material, it's not shiny. It's not the shiny vinyl. The new one is, is more like cloth fabric. That's the one, 303 fabric protecting for outdoor fabric. Mary got it. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Why would I have an orange film after using chlorine sometimes? Too much iron in water. Yes, probably. So what happens is copper's green, iron's you know orange or brown if there's a lot. If I use my, water, my well water it, and added chlorine, it would turn brown like I see. Uh, Doug, so probably go with more sequestering agent on every refill. But what will happen is when you have uh, the minerals in the water, they will react with chlorine and bring out the colors. So if it's orange, but it's super clear, but you have that orange tint, it probably is iron. Best guess, iron. Use more sequestering agent, stain and scale remover, and that will, that will strip that junk right out of there. So it is also possible to have city water that has high iron in it, like someone who has a well might experience. So you may need to run a sequestering agent right upon fill up to get that out of there. You know, we do have some locations that we're aware of that we run full sequestering agent, whether it's city water or well water, because it's it's really no different. Okay. And and some places will say, I ah, don't bother with that if you have, you know, good city water, but probably a good idea to use it all the time. Howard Sparks. Howard, what's up? Hot Tub University is a big proponent of Spa Marvel. I had the same question. Yeah, Howard, I just, I don't use it. I, I, I can't even imagine why I would need it, honestly. Um, but Hot Tub University, you know, I actually, I actually know Chris. Um, he knows what he's talking about. I don't know if there's something more to it than that, but, you know, uh, officially we're not uh, requiring it or recommending it. Okay. Right. Sherry, you are great. Thank you. Thank you. This is an excellent opportunity to get together and learn. Just wonderful. You know, Sherry, it, it, the fun part about this is we have so many pros who watch too, you know, and not that I'm, not that I'm some pro, you know, I, I don't know everything and, and I'll tell you when I don't know something or I'll call Kirk and, and ask a question if, if it's something I haven't dealt with. But we have so much knowledge on here and everyone's trying to help each other. That is the gold here. 
and it's just you, you just you just never experience that everything on social media is so negative and there's always like that jerk who just makes a comment just to be a jerk just because he hasn't been punched in the face you know long it's been too long since he was punched in the face so they'll they get brave and they'll answer like a jerk and you would never say that to someone in person you know so i i, I hate that but that's what i love about this is everyone's here and the knowledge base is massive we got master spas actually on there you know kicking in information sending links you know mary and i sitting here doing this and everybody's firing off questions and and we have customers helping each other it's awesome like where else does that happen it doesn't it doesn't exist so sherry you are great thank you all right nancy do i have to use shock in startup um so shock is sort of a funny thing and you have non-chlorine shock, you have chlorine shock, and then is oxidizer the same thing as shock? And then if it's non-chlorine oxidizer shock, you know, there's all that, you know, crap out there. And the thing is, is that, so I use regular dichlorochlorine, obviously, not trichlor, and non-chlorine shock. So on startup, I wouldn't use that. I don't know which one you're talking about. And, and it's so confusing the way, it, like, you go to one store and it's, Everything is oxidizing shock, and this one doesn't say oxidizing, it's just a shock. Chlorine shock and non-chlorine shock and chlorine oxidizer. So shock and oxidizer is the same thing, and then you need chlorine or non-chlorine. If you're running dichlorochlorine, you don't want chlorine shock or oxidizer. You want non-chlorine. So I wouldn't run that on a startup. I would run sequestering agent, bring it up to temperature, take a strip, check it, fix alkalinity because it's always A before P alkalinity gets fixed first, then pH adjusted, then chlorine, okay? Unless you're running chlorine shock because then you're actually using chlorine. All right. So, Sue, I also had a custom tarp made to fit over the spot and cover with bungee cords around the bottom to secure it. Amazing. Awesome. You know, I mean, just taking care of your stuff and it's just, it'll be awesome forever, you know? I mean, they're made to go outside full exposure you know, that doesn't mean we can't take care of things above and beyond what's expected, you know? So that's great. All this talk about winterizing makes me wonder what folks are doing when it's cold, our favorite time of year for hot tubs. I'm gonna hit the see more button. Is winter, Jeff, I'm totally on the same page as you, no doubt. So, uh, you know what, a lot of times we have a lot of snowbirds who just leave for three months, four months to get out of the cold that's probably the biggest reason for people to uh, to do that. And and you and I are probably just not quite there yet where we're, we're bailing out for the winter. All right, but I assure you we will. Lucy, all right. Going to do my first drain and refill. Swim spot water is 13 months old. If I have city water, do I need a pre-filter? Pam, I wouldn't run a pre-filter on city water. Um, you know, honestly, I don't even know if the manual officially says that, but I'm going to go ahead and say no. And if they yell at me and, and give me a spanking, then so be it. But I definitely wouldn't. Okay. Pam and Jimmy. Let's see. How do I know when to change the, I'm going to assume that says orange insert in my hot tub. Six months. Six months. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. All right, Sarah, are phosphates a real problem or something drummed up by the big chem industry? We are rural and phosphates measure very high, but are not in, not high in source of water. I assume it comes from being surrounded by farms. Thoughts? You know, test trips don't even measure it. You know, that's every time we hear about that, people are taking their water to a pool, pool store and they're, you know, they don't know anything about the EcoPure. You know, and just the thing is, you just want to make sure that you're using, you're shocking frequently enough so remember, chlorine kills and shock removes. So cover off, shock it, get that stuff out of there. And I'm not ever going to go to a pool store or ever be concerned with it, okay? So that's how I run mine. I wouldn't uh, overthink it. Even though I can't be on, I'm so excited to see up. Mary, I, it's 439 I, and I need to get to my questions that I drew on the stupid letters. <laughs> Sue Olson, Mesa, Arizona. I like Arizona, it's so neat. All right, don't forget to mention there, oh my God, Mary, that's right. 
Okay, so the last two weeks, okay, everybody's just with the questions. Type them in afterwards, or we're never gonna get through this. So the last two weeks of the 1590 challenge, they're pretty awesome. I, I named it, and, and there's, a, there's a reason I named it, okay? And in two weeks, it's the end, and we will hopefully be on from the factory while we're there. Yes, okay. So it's called, I'm looking at, I'm looking at my cheat sheet is the whiteboard in our office. It's power and proof. And this is gonna be a little different, this workout. So those of you who are running through this workout, it's, it's much, much more focused and intense on the, the squeezing and making sure you're doing a great job. It's to prove the powerful changes that we've made in your strength, in your body, and everyone should be feeling really great, okay? So I'm really looking forward to hearing how everybody did. And, and we have not seen any, Mary and I have not looked at videos, not anything. So if you guys have specific you know, results, I, I wanna know if, if, you, if you said, hey, you know what? I've been walking up the stairs obviously my whole life and now I do it without pain or my knees feel much better. Send us a message. We need to know that stuff, guys. It really, we need to know and make sure that, that this was working in the way that it did so that we can do it again and just have great feedback. So anything you can give us in this last workout is proof. So the workout is designed around being powerful, feeling powerful, okay? It's really awesome. We're very excited. We were excited to do this. We were excited to write these programs and, and we did. Mary and I sat in that silly office and, and wrote this stuff out until it made sense and, and did the periodized you know, schedule and it's just really awesome. So I, I'm, I'm super psyched about that. Okay, let me get to these questions real quick although we probably hammered them. All right, so this question, my swim spot 19D says, clean filter, pass due, how do I reset it after I've cleaned and installed the filter, Richard and Mass? So I actually, I don't have a, a trainer, uh, I'm assuming trainer 19D, I have a challenger and it just goes away. So after it says that, you just hit the clear button, and it goes away. I did call in, I called Kirk and, uh, and he said, you just hit the clear button after you clear it and it should go away. Okay, if it's not going away, that could be an issue. So. Just hit the clear button, it should go away. There is no getting in and reset the schedule. Like, like when you get your oil changed on a car, you have to go in the computer and say oil change, blah, blah, blah. There's, it doesn't have that. All right, how can I flush the chemicals? We already went through that. All right, I plan on, this is from Charles in New York. I plan on closing spa as no one uses it during hot summer months. What do I need to do to totally drain and summarize it? Summarize, not winterize. I like it, and he put it in quotes. That was cool. So what you want to do, again, you just need to get every drop of water out of there, but you have no freeze concern. So I wouldn't run any freeze, obviously, but you still want to get that water out there. If you don't get it all out, you're going to have some algae slugs that come out of those pipes and it could be awful. Okay. So you really want to get that stuff out of there. Although I would tell you my advice in the summertime, remember what draws amperage is heat. And in the summertime, you're probably talking about 10 bucks a month. I would turn it down to 80 and leave it and run it. So that is my actual advice. Rather than summarizing it, I'm not sure it's worth your time because on the startup, if you miss some of that water and, and, you, and you have these, these, I mean, slugs of algae, we have seen this happen before. We've seen it with tubs that were, were wet at a demo and then just drained and, and none of the water was taken out of the pipes. And then we refill them someplace else later on in this. I almost said the S word. I almost dropped an S word. The crap that comes out. I'm allowed crap and I'm allowed ass a little bit without getting in trouble. Anything bigger than that, I'm getting in trouble. <clears throat> the crap that comes out of there is crap is not a big enough word for what comes out of there. So that's my advice. Don't do it. Okay. All right. Is vinegar and water the best solution for a rub down? They use the word rub down. Uh, after draining, do I need to take out pillows or jets for cleaning? Bryce in Maryland. So I would not take out the pillows and the jets for cleaning, but Sue would probably smack me and say, yes, you take them out and Ben's just lazy. So maybe I am, but I wouldn't do that. Okay. And I just, I wouldn't worry about it, but, but vinegar and water, absolutely the way to go or the Windex, you know, vinegar product is fantastic. Okay. All right. So last one. April, Texas, when cleaning my Master Spas 19D and soaking filters, I know the EcoPure shouldn't be cleaned. Should I keep the EcoPure core soaking in water or let it dry out? Should I keep it covered or is it okay to let it air out while the filters dry? I'm assuming on that you mean the swim spa. 
Okay, so there's a lot in here. So April, first, I'm gonna tell you that um, I called in on this too to make sure that, because I keep reading, you know, don't let them dry, don't let them dry, don't let the eco peer dry. Customer service has no thought on it. They don't care. They have no, and they have thoughts on pretty much everything. So they, they basically said, and, and I don't, all I do is take them out, rinse them and put them back in. But I do rinse the eco peer. I don't clean it with anything. I, and I don't even, I haven't really been cleaning. We don't have any lotions or, or really not lotions, but sunscreen in particular. So I, I tip, I tend to just rinse the filters and stick them right back in. Um, you know, there is probably something to the drying thing, but it's not an official recommendation for master spas. So if you want to let them dry, you know, and, and then, so the question here, the bigger question is not the filters because you sort of can't mess them up. You know, if you rinsed them out and put them right back in, or if you let them dry, they're going to be fine. The eco pure, let it dry. It doesn't matter. Uh, that was basically his answer was, I don't, I don't think it matters and probably doesn't, you know, in six months you're throwing the thing out and getting a new one anyway. Uh, that's the eco pure charge, not the, not the outer film filter. But the other thing you can do, if you have spare filters, you can take the filters out put the eco pure charge into the new filter that's going in, put them back in there and then deal with the, the out, the outers outside the swim spa and you're up and running. If you're letting them dry to put them back in, I don't, I don't really see the point. I don't think there's an advantage there. I wouldn't worry that much about it. Um, as far as leaving your swim spa open, that's where, you know, I mean, it says here in Texas, so if you weren't in Texas, I don't know that I might, I, I would have this answer, but you're in Texas. It's hot in Texas and that sun, it is brutal. I mean, it, it melts paint off of cars. It's brutal. You know, if you're in direct sunlight it, and it's all day waiting for these filters to dry, I can't say that I recommend that. You know what I mean? I, I, I think it takes much more than that to have a problem with your acrylic from sunlight but it has happened. I mean, the one case that I'm, I'm intimately familiar with on the acrylic being damaged by sun was actually in Hawaii and the cover was never put on. I mean, it was two years with no cover on. Obviously they had a problem. Um, it was unknown to us that that was going on. So we couldn't advise against it earlier. Um, so I, I, you know, it just depends, but honestly, I don't think there's any reason to, you know, air the swim spa out if that's what you meant. And I would just rinse the filters and put them right back in and kind of make your, your life easier, okay? Okay, when I refill, I've been told to have a second set of filters and use the filter cleaner soak and dry for the next refill. Do you recommend filter cleaners and, and alter, alternating filters? Howard. Howard, you could just ask us at the gym tomorrow. We see you every day. <laughs> All right. So, I, I don't, Howard, I don't do any of that. I've never done any of that. I know I'm a bad kid and all that, but I take them out, rinse them, and put them right back in. I'm talking 10 minute turnaround maximum. So I just don't, I don't do it. I, I don't think it's that critical. <laughs> He's, Mary, can you picture his face at the gym tomorrow? He's gonna be like, what's wrong with you? I, I, we've never been able to figure out what's wrong with me, but it's almost 10 of, so we gotta go. Howard, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Uh, I've never done that. I don't think you need to. I, I think, I, I'm afraid that people are sort of overcomplicating their life and the hot tub stuff, okay? Everybody calm down, relax, it's master spas. It's, everything is fine. You guys just, you're like, you guys are, you guys are particular. This is a particular group of particular people. All right, so everybody chill out, bring it down a notch, all good. All right, we'll see you guys in two weeks, hopefully from the factory, like Mary said, uh, we're trying to figure that out. Um, typical life of a filter, outers, one year, Eco Pure six months, although if everyone's being honest, they probably use them longer than that one year, okay? All right, we'll see you guys in two. That was amazing, oh my God, Mary. <laughs> I'll, Mary, I'll call you, goodbye.